I am here at twitter.com and I want to sign up for a Twitter account. So I'm going to put my full name, Alice Keeler, and I'll put my email address, akeeler at mail.fresnostate.edu. Um, and then you're going to want to put in a password. I'm going to click sign up for Twitter. When you look in, just like there's some naming rules, so it'll say, "Yeah, your name is okay and acceptable." Uh, that your email address is not used by another account, um, whether or not your password was acceptable or not, and then look here where it says user name. Right, it says here user name. So it's kind of a noob move to have numbers in your Twitter handle, but the purpose we're doing here is to uh, make something professional, ways for us to learn about teaching and just to have a community um, of educators who come alongside us and help and give advice and moral support. So you do want to have a username that is professional. Um, you can have numbers, I guess, but I would, uh, I will make fun of you. Okay, not really. Just gentle nudges. But anyway, so I'm going to put CI149 Prof Keeler and it is available. Sometimes it can take some time to pick out something that is available. Um, and so you just kind of keep trying. Don't take whatever ones they suggest. I mean, it is who you are. And this one's even, I told you don't put numbers in it. This not really a great uh, Twitter handle, probably. Um, this is people call you by this. Like my friend Sean Williams, his Twitter handle is S E A N I, and everyone just calls him Shawnee. You just tend to call people by their Twitter handle. So, what Twitter handle do you want that you don't mind people calling you by that name? Um, I'm on a public computer, so I'm going to uncheck to keep me signed in, and I don't really want Twitter to be. Uh, tracking me, so I'm going to uncheck that. It doesn't matter. Check it, don't check it. And then I'm going to create my account. So now that I'm in here, it says welcome. Let's get started. So I go ahead and I click next. And it wants me to find five people uh, that I can start following. Um, the purpose of this is to be an educator and to make yourself better as an educator. So we don't use this like Facebook. That's the mistake. We don't even follow our friends. We want to follow people who help us to be better educators. Period. So I look down here and Twitter is suggesting for me to follow Justin Bieber. Oh no, we are not going to follow Justin Bieber. No! But D.W. Malone, this is somebody who tweets about education. So let's go ahead and follow him. Now, this is giving me suggestions because I've logged into Twitter before. Um, it probably would not suggest these awesome educators like Jason Salascar to you. So what you would do is you would go ahead and type them in by hand. Type in at Alice Keeler so you can follow me. So I click at Alice Keeler and push enter and then I can choose to follow. And of course you want to follow Fred Nelson and he is at Fred N. 56, enter, there we go, we can follow that, you know, I should like zoom in here, follow Fred, uh, other good educators to follow, at J. Carippo, I'm going to follow John Carippo, how about at Will Kimbley, enter, follow, if you didn't get it before, you would want to follow D.W. Malone. I'm already following him because I checked the checkbox. Uh, I run Coffee Q, so you could follow at Coffee Q, so you can get uh, follow me for how to f meet up with other educators. It's really kind of a cool event. So I'm going to follow at Coffee Q. So after you've followed five educators, go ahead and click Next. And then it wants me to follow five more, and it wants me to follow Shakira and LeBron James and YouTube. Oh my goodness, not following Katy Perry. Not going to follow those people. I'm going to follow five more educators. So how about 
at Jen Roberts one. Oh my gosh, what a new move. Yep, we're going to follow Jen Roberts one. She's actually super awesome. So go ahead and click follow. I'm going to follow at Dio Biggin. She's a really amazing educator, Google certified teacher, and just a dynamo of a person. So I'm going to push enter, searching. Here we go. Diane Main at Dio Biggin. So we'll follow her. Um, at Ramsey Musalam is super awesome. So Ramsalam, I think, is his Twitter handle. All right, I'm just going to look up Ramsey Musalam. Am I spelling this wrong? Ramsey. Dave Ramsey. There's Ramsey Masala. He's an awesome guy with flip teaching and inquiry based learning. He's a chemistry teacher. All right, can't find Ramsey's. How about at C. Tucker English? She is great for the Common Core. So we're going to go ahead and follow C. Tucker English. She is a keynote speaker, an author, and just a really helpful and super nice person. So you definitely want to follow C. Tucker English. Uh, Robert Madden. Nope, not that one. Here we go. At Bob Madden and an underscore. At Bob Madden underscore. So let's go ahead and follow him. And so many good people to follow. Um, how about Danny Silva? He is at I Teach Ag. Let's see if I can find him on here. There he is at I Teach Ag. So I'm going to follow him. And so once I've got five cool educators, I'm going to go ahead and be able to do next. And then it says, hey, five more. And why don't you look at people in your Gmail and your Yahoo? Like, oh, heck no. I'm not following my friends. I'm not following my friends. I do this strictly to be a better educator. So I go down here to the bottom where it says skip. Because I want to skip doing that. Sorry. All right, now this is super important. You do not want to be a newbie egg. You need to upload a picture of yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and click upload photo. I'll go to my Google Drive and see if I can find a picture of myself. Um, mm -hmm. I'll search up here, Alice. And then I want to search Google Drive. And then here you'll notice there's a plus button. This is only on the Mac, so if you're not using a bank, you'll have to search other ways. And I'm going to find an image. So there we go, headshot of me. There we go. So now I have a picture of myself, and it's also super important that you put a bio because you're trying to attract followers who are into what you're into. So put down that you are a teacher. And then what other interests do you have um, educationally? Into gamification of education, math teacher, professor at Fresno State. Put in there just things that, you know, flip teaching. What are you into that you would like to attract other people to be into to follow you? You want to follow educators. You want educators to follow you that are doing some maybe some of the same things you're into. So it's really important to have a good bio. Then go ahead and click done.